What's up everybody? It's Nick D, the 7C10, and I'm back at it again. Uh, today, hopefully, you guys will like what we have here. Uh, finally got the first parts in for the, the Sierra. So we're gonna go ahead and start trying to put these on, see how it looks. Uh, kinda, you know, get the gist of what we're kinda trying to figure out what we're gonna do here. But uh, let's get straight to this package, guys. Let's get it open up, show you guys what we got, and hopefully it looks cool and, you know, or hopefully still looks cool like it did on the internet, because it probably won't. So, we have ordered new headlights for the Sierra. Got a little LED strip in there. Got to wire that in. But I decided to go black headlights. Be careful with these things. Along with the turn, I think it's a turn signal on the bottom. We went black with those also. So that should actually be a pretty cool look to them. You know, I'm definitely excited to see how this is going to turn out. The clear uh, turn markers, I guess, is what that is. So, let's get the truck turned around. Let's go ahead and start putting some of this stuff on. Let's see what it looks like, man. I'm excited. I used to have an 05 like this, uh, except it was a cat eye style that didn't have the, uh, that had the same 4.3 in there, but it also had the, uh, damn it, the five speed manual in there. Uh, so, kind of brings me back a little bit to when I used to have mine, because it was literally bone stock just like this. Nothing cool was done with it. You know, I had exhaust on it, that was about it. Didn't get to drop it or nothing. Uh, but, now I finally do something cool, you know, that was shit almost 10 years ago actually when I had that one, so uh, we're gonna have some fun with this one like I said, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get these headlights taken out and start seeing if we can put these new ones in and see how they look. Alright, so these headlights are actually fairly simple to get out. There's literally two bolt, uh, two these right here, you take these, see if you can see them in there. Come on, do that. These right here, you pop these out. One, and there's a second one right here, two. Now what you do is you pull those completely up, and that opens, unlocks the, basically unlocks, pulls the pins out of the headlight. Oh, and the headlight just kind of falls completely out, just like that. should just turn and the plug the headlight should just come clean out. Nothing crazy about that. There we go. That's the old housing, just like that. Simple. Now to get the bottom ones off. Let's see what we gotta do here. Hoping I gotta take the grill off to get those. Well, looks like a little something here. Right here. There we go. Oh, man. They make that easy. Go ahead and do the same thing you do with your other lights. Spin them to get them out. I think, oh yeah, look at that. So, these little things right here, actually, there's a little deal, kind of like gas cap has. You gotta push it in to get that to spin, like a gas cap does. And this one just has a little connector that you got to push up and pull the light out. Should be super simple. But, got them both out. Oh, these things, look how dusty and dirty. These things are old, man. They gotta be, I'm sure they're original. So they're freaking 01s, 2001, so they're eight, uh, 17 years old. Yeah, but that wasn't too, too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this grill down and get some of that stuff cleaned up. I'll put them back on there, because it looks like shit. All right, now that we got that all cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and figure out which light is left and which one is right. This one's saying left. 
It's gonna be the driver's side. Should be going the same way. Let me get the left one for the lower light. So, the lower one, we're gonna start that one first. We'll go ahead and put our light back in. Let's get this thing. All right, and then same thing, just plug your lights back in one at a time. Ooh. I don't think it might be burnt. We're gonna replace all these eventually though with uh, LEDs or, uh, yeah, LED lights, I believe. I find a good brand of them first and then we'll do all, we'll replace them all. All right. Now, you see on here, the clip on the end of this light right here has to go into this little groove right here. These will slide into this. Should be pretty simple. Take them, slide them into place. Come on. Maybe it's easier with two hands like one. Put it down. Alright, so it took a little manhandling. Finally get into place. It should all pop into place. Done. One down. Top one should be a little bit easier, I'm hoping. Should more just kind of fall into place because of the pins. So, got the light in, we're going to start putting our pins in, actually let's get this back there first. We're not going to hook our LED light strip up yet, we're going to do that later on. Not too, too worried about it today. Okay. Alright, so we finally got that light set. Look at them. So other than the fingerprints all over, that's the new ones. Ooh, that's the old ones. Look a lot better. So much better. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, we're gonna go ahead and swap out this other one now, real quickly. Hopefully, it doesn't take me quite as long. I finally figured out what it was. You gotta kind of give it a little push and pull and rub and love it on there. I don't know why it's loose. I don't really like that too much either. But we'll see about tighten them down somehow. All right, I got the bottom one in. The bottom one is pretty simple. Have the top one. Same thing. I figure out how to tighten all this shit down. This is loose. Oh, you got to be fucking me. This is why you don't buy off eBay. Look at this shit. The light's fucking broke. That means it's just gonna wobble in there. Motherfucker, dude. Find some glue or something. Maybe I'll try and glue it on it for now. Alright, so I just sent the seller a message, hopefully get another one of these, but what I'm just going to do is I'm going to put it on for the time being, and uh, maybe try and put a little bit of uh, glue or something on there just to hold it into place so that you don't have to worry about it falling out until we get our new one in, so let's just do it. So definitely a day and night difference than the other ones. Uh, they look really cool. Hopefully I can get a response back from that seller so I can get the other one back and swap it out so I don't have a cracked looking headlight. Definitely a day and night difference than the other ones. Uh, they look really cool. Hopefully I can get a response back from that seller so I can get the other one back and swap it out so I don't have a cracked looking headlight. Uh, what to do, I guess I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek on some wheels that we have for the Sierra. I'm just going to give you a center cap so you know what brand they are, but I'll let you take a guess on what you think they actually are. Go ahead and comment down below what you think these are, but this is what I'm going to give you. That's it. That's all I'm giving you right there, guys. So, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll get some more parts in. Uh, we're going to send those wheels out. So we got new wheels. They're, they are chrome. They're shit. 
so we can actually get them uh, tires removed, order some new tires, take these off, get the chrome removed, and then get them powder coated. So uh, we'll have a pretty cool set of wheels when they're said and done with. Uh, like I said, I need to go to the pool party, get some stuff. There's just little knick-knack things here and there, but I'm waiting on some stuff to come in the mail. Uh, we can't really do much more till then, so uh, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Uh, Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, do what you got to do, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm hoping this project is a pretty cool one. Like I said, this we got a good vision in the future what I want to do with this when it's all said and done with. So uh, keep following, guys. Uh, go to my Instagram. Go ahead and uh, follow me on there too if you want to see some updates before they even make it on YouTube. Most of the time, uh, working on some merchandise, some shirts, some hats. So hopefully get some of that here pretty soon too. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So until next time, guys. Peace out.